Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Did you dump the duck's water? Nope. Somebody, that darn turkey. Those turkeys, they're getting to be trouble. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the weekend. I slept in, Sam slept in. What My idea of sleeping in is different than Sam sleeping in. I like 6.37. What time did you wake up today, Sam? Eight. Yeah, Sam wakes up at 8 when he My sleeps in. My sleeping in is 8 or 8.30. Yeah, because he goes to bed at what time? 11. 11. And I go to bed at 8. <laughs> I literally go to bed between 8 and 9. It's always my goal to stay up till 9. But man, I've been like cleaning, getting the farm ready for fall. So I'm exhausted by the end of the night. Plus, my cold is almost better, you guys. Every once in a while, I'll have like a little cough, a residual cough, but it's so much better. Anyway, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited. I was reading comments this morning. Man, I need to catch you guys up with some stuff. So many people in the comments were saying such kind things. I saw some new people or people I didn't recognize that were so kind. So many of you guys love Lady. <laughs> so many of you guys love Lady and Sophie together. That warms my heart so much. I saw a lot of you guys saying that you'd like to see us riding our horses and that and we do ride them. A while ago, I don't know if you guys remember, but a while ago I rode Penny on a trail and she seemed really sluggish compared to her normal feisty self. And so I got stressed about it. And then Sam said like, just go out there without the camera. Just go out there and just ride, go slow, just like get used to it without the pressure of the camera and without trying to like video, just like focus on your horse. And I said, you know what, we're gonna do that. So once a week, mostly, uh, we go out, the girls and I, and I don't like get all worked up about it. In the past, I've like dressed differently, done my hair, like got ready in the morning to ride. Now I just go with the flow. Like Sophie comes and says like, are you ready to ride? We mostly go at night. And I'm like, yeah, let's just go. We are actually preparing for a trail ride that I want to go on. You guys remember at the beginning of the year when I made our things I want to accomplish this summer video? Well, I want to go on my dream trail ride. It's like the thing that I want to do so badly. So we've been working on that, preparing for that. And Sophie has been really preparing her horse, getting her not to want to canter off, gallop off. Go eat little, little goats. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Oh, <laughs> what? Listen, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Ellie was down here and nobody was expecting that. That was not nice. You scared all the goats. Anyways, um, I hear you though. You guys want to see us riding our horses. Um, it's, uh, it's been life changing, just us going out on our own with our own horses. So Gabby's working on just letting Storm have what he wants and just go slow and do his own thing without any pressure. And I guess it's the lack of pressure of having to like video that is just making me so much more relaxed. But anyway, we are getting ready for our mega trail ride, which I'm still trying to figure out because we only have a three horse trailer and I want to bring Elizabeth. I want to bring Elizabeth. I think it will make everything so much better for both my girls because they both love her but mostly for Sophie like I think Sophie will just thrive you guys know she used to be terrified of trail rides and this is gonna be a big one this is gonna be a big one so I want her to feel the most confident ever even though lady does that for her are you ready yep she gets mad you hear that that's a mad sound she's like how dare you let those littles out there before me but I do it because they are pushy with the food and I want the babies to have food. Poor Blossom. She got stuck to the back stall. Out you go. Out, out, out you go. Hold on. Get out there. Be kind. Be good. Be nice. She's like, I am the boss. <laughs> Lastly, I saw a few comments about people saying that Lady was lame. Some people think in the back. Some people think in the front. Some people think... I don't know, all over. So I just want to tell you this. We had Lady check by our vet. We had Lady get the chiropractor like we always do. We started Lady on a probiotic like we always do. 
We are on top of her body and I know like she moves so differently than most horses. One, because she's a Dutch har harness horse cross and that those horses just move differently no matter what. And also because she doesn't use her back end appropriately. And she's weaker in the canter because she's not used to cantering. So, and then you add in like all the different footing. We ride on a grass field that's all uphill. Like all, she'll be going uphill and people will be like, look at how lame she is. But people don't take into account the footing. There's just so many things that are involved with trying to figure out if she's lame. So we have our vet involved with her care. We have our chiropractor. We have two trainers that are really good at, um, at helping us and I just want to say that it's re she's really de definitely, she moves differently. It's hard to tell what she's doing at any given time, so I understand that. And lastly, there will always be people who will say that our trainers are bad, our vet is bad, our chiropractor are bad, because they do things differently than what they think, or that they believe differently than what they think. And the truth is we have to listen to our trainers and our chiro and our vet, and we have to to... We have to do things the way that they suggest because they're the ones here on the ground working with our horse that know our horse. So that, so that's where we stand on that. Like that's what we have to do. I think everybody has to do that. You have to listen to people that know your horse and that know the situation. Uh, you can't just be like trying to follow everyone's advice that has never even met your horse because it just ends up, you're just, it's just, would just be so confusing. Imagine if every time someone said something, you had to listen to them and focus on what they're saying, even if it doesn't match what you know about your own horse. Like, it's difficult. It, it's just so difficult. So, I appreciate you guys trying to help us, though, and telling us what you see. And I know you do it for the benefit of Miss Ladybug, and I love that about you guys. What's wrong? Somebody's in heat out here. And I think it's her. I think that's why she was so stressed out when I was doing her feet yesterday. She's just been humping everybody. You guys hear that? It's Lola. It's Lola. That's the wrong end. Lola, wrong end. Come on, Ellie. Let's leave them be. Do you think if we put them in like a breeding stall, left them there for the day, he'd get the job done? I don't know. Man, he's too short. <laughs> He's just too short. Anyways, welcome to today. If we go, when we go riding this weekend, I'll try and take you, or at least I'll get Sam to video. I find it so much more relaxing and fun without my camera, even though like I sit there and I see the, the trees and just the view and I always want to share it and video it so I can watch it later. It's just so much better if I don't take the camera. But I'll try this weekend just for you guys. Anyway, Sam and I are headed out early. It is 9.19, which doesn't seem that early. <laughs> but the girls are still snoozing. Sam, I bought something off of Marketplace. Actually, we were supposed, we had big plans this weekend. This today, we were supposed to go with my whole family, like my sister's family and the new baby Lily to an apple orchard a couple hours away from us or an hour away from us. And we were supposed to do pictures and all be together because my niece has a new baby and Lily is a new baby and we want them to be close. And then Lily got a cold and my sister's whole family got a cold and like they can't go anywhere because they have a cold. They have a cold. I just had like a cold for a month it feels like. And, <coughs> and I was out there doing everything. Wasn't I out there doing everything? Yeah. Yep, and it was a bad cold. You guys, you guys saw, I was like coughing for a month. But there was a couple of days where, I think it was like two days. I think it was only one day. Maybe two days where I had this head stuffiness, where my head was just exhausted, was so stuffed, and then it moved into my chest. So maybe that's where they're at. But anyways, so they all canceled, so we're not doing that. But Sam or found something, bought something off of Marketplace, and it's a bit of a drive. So I said, I'll come with you, and we'll have like a date drive. So we are home and we just dropped off all the grain that we bought. But the thing I'm most paranoid about is chickens underneath the car. Stay out from underneath the car. Especially that white one back there. She's not so smart. You're selfish. No. So, you guys, Sam is... It's a sad day today. 
Why is this a sad day? A sad day when the girls don't want to go with their parents to the store. So the girls want to go to the mall. Um, Sylvie needs to get a book for school to read. And <clears throat> they need to go uh, get some new clothes. So they're like, yeah, we're going to go to the mall tomorrow. We're going to blah, blah, blah. Gabby has a car. They want to go. And I'm like, sure, you guys go. And then I want to go too because I need to get some new clothes. And I want to go shopping. Like... I like to do that stuff. Oh, there's a chicken running right for the truck. She'll run right there. So, anyways, I'm okay with it. I understand that kids want to do their own thing, and it's better because when you go shopping with your parents, how many birds were under? The <laughs> were there a lot under the truck? Anyways, when you go shopping with your parents, they're always like, "Come on, let's go. Get what you're getting. Hurry up, let's go." Or else they're always waiting for you. It's annoying when you can just go finally on your own just go in the car and then just like do your own thing come home when you're done and not have to worry about your parents pressuring you because they want to do their own they want to do stuff it's so much better and i'm so glad that they have each other that they can go and do that with so anyways i'm okay with it it's not a big deal for me and sam is like freaking out over here thinking that they should just want to come with him. Did you want to go with your parents when you were that age? Like, Gabby's almost 18, you guys. I was just too busy. I know. Well, here's the thing. Like, you wouldn't have probably gone anyways. And I, and I sometimes went with my mom in the morning. Well, and they sometimes go with us, too. They go with us a lot. In fact, they spend so much time with us. Probably more than most kids at their age. So, anyway, we're going to the mall <laughs> by ourselves in our own car. And the girls might show up at some point. They're leaving at 1. They already have plans. They're leaving at one. We'll be, done by then. we'll be done by one, and that's another thing. They like to sleep in. We're up early and we're ready to go. But yeah, it's a lonely life when your kids fly the coop, and that's where we are. We're at that stage, you guys. We're at that stage where our kids are like leaving, and I feel like I'm handling it really well. I feel like Sam is not. All right, so it's a long time later. We've done a bunch of shopping and now we're getting lunch. I have the chocolate milk and Sam is getting me a burrito. All right, so how are you liking our trip without the girls? Good. It's actually turning out not bad. Look at how big this thing is. Gosh, it's the ducks. I just filled that up this morning for you. I see you just spilled it. That was dumb. <laughs> Wait, I'll come back and fill it up for you. I know you like to swim in there. Love me some turkeys though. Anyways, <laughs> you walk outside at my house and it's just a gong show no matter what. Like, you don't even have to be out here and there's a gong show happening. I got this bucket at the store today because I need buckets for water and I need buckets for food for the piggies. And the hard part is that they tip them. So this one's, this one should be okay. I could even put like something in it to make sure that they can't tip it. <gasps> Ellie is so funny. She can fit through every gate and nobody else can. So she climbs through and then it's like, ha ha. Now she's going to chase them. Watch, she's waiting. She's excited. Yeah, that's dumb. Molly's like, I will kill her. Wait. There we go. I actually really love shopping, but coming home and like, being with the animals and doing stuff outside in the sun and on the farm. I always feel so much better. Look, I got you a new food pan. There's nothing in it, but it's for you. It's going to have something in it. Yeah, that's how it gets dirty. For what I paid for this, I should have just went to TSC, Tractor Supply or PV Mart, it's called in Canada, and just bought one of those big black ones. But they still climb in those too. To be honest, I think I'm going to have to separate. Like anytime I want to breed a goat, Get out. Uh-oh, Posey, no. I'm gonna have to put them in a stall because there's too much going on with like two goats there and a boy pig. Everybody wants to be involved. Ew, who stinks? Is it you? Are you gassy? She never stinks. She's such a pretty baby. <laughs> I love my pig. I love you too. Anyways, I just, um, oh, somebody is looking like she's in heat for sure or pregnant. You guys think she's pregnant? Like, that's unusual. Are you pregnant? I should check her and see. Hi, baby. 
Hello. I'll put Lola and Ziggy together for the night. One thing about our farm is that if you sit down, somebody will be chewing on you in a second. This little baby was chewing on me. <laughs> Look at my girl. Look at her. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're just so cute. A pig's nose is like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> and she's clawing me and headbutting me. And she's like, don't pay attention to the pig. This is my favorite thing to do when I get home though. Like, I love it. I just sit here and enjoy all my animals. Everything about them, I'm surrounded. She's still got so much milk in her udder. I could literally start milking her again if I wanted to. Wait, I'll see if she'll let me. Watch. Oh shoot, I didn't get any out. <laughs> but I did a few minutes ago. But I milked her for so long this season that she still, it takes a long time for your milk to dry up. Yes. Oh, you're here too. <laughs> what? Anyway, that is it for today's video. I'm gonna end it now because hopefully the girls will be home soon and then we can go for our ride because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So if we do tonight, then I will video it. I don't know, I haven't checked with them yet. After Sam and I had lunch today, we were driving back through town because I wanted to go to the dollar store and we saw the girls in the parking lot of the mall. <laughs> and I texted Sophie and I said, we see you. And she said, we were just thinking we should get lunch. And I said, yeah, dad and I just had lunch. And she said, well, you should buy us lunch as a stocking fee since you're stocking us. So we bought them lunch. <laughs> anyway, they're still shopping, hanging out spending time together. I love that. I love this new stage of life. You get two choices in life. You get to like your life or you get to hate it. So why don't I choose to love it? And it doesn't matter if I'm alone because I will never be alone, you guys. Never, ever, ever be alone with all these little animals here. Yes. But that's it for today's video. Um, I will see you guys in the next one, but comment below if you like pigs before you leave comment below do you like pigs and then i'll know the people that watch to the very end of the video and then i'll know if me sharing posy is changing people's opinions because before we got posy so many people thought that pigs or so many people said pigs are awful like we even have friends who are like pigs are mean but if you treat them right they are the friendliest little creatures anyway thanks so much for watching we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful just the